Stamina. You miss. No, you just have full stamina. Okay. Negative one fire spell. Actually, animation will tell me what that. Fire, fire pillar. Dude. This is the problem doing Excel. at neg to stam Oh, we didn't get to see the big moment. Oh, I don't need 
mesmo. Yes, you got. Die. Link. I'm trying to. All our resets AP four AP five AP six AP That was a fire pillar, that was a turn red. Turn red.
counter blue. All right. I think he gets burnt because I did watch some of this before. That's where I, I got really interested to uh, watch this to, to kind of jot down what was happening. Blue. She must have did the turn red right there. Resets the AP. You do negative two. Here. Yeah, that must be cure plus. Because I'm used to links being the first lot. Let me get you. Oh, I should have noted another interest. Excel. Excel for me. Here we go. Full stamina. You too.
was sagen. This got one blue, two, right, two, three. So that happens. Then goes for the frog friends. I'm watching the clip just because Twi Twitch has this buffer when you try to stop and play the video real quick. The hits for 18, so need to have. I imagine he probably follows up with one, two, three links. Weak-minded. No. Oh. Doesn't. He doesn't. What happens next? Wi-Fi 4, holy cow. Is that manipulate? Uh, I'll, I'll elaborate uh, in case anyone's not uh, familiar with the tech. Plus two. Toriel. By the way, it hits for a five. So he. That's not true. Dario has 7 AP. By doing. Uh, Marcy did 6 actions there and then Ice Blast. So Dario could have went, but he plus 1 AP. So by Link's defending there, it just ends up uh, defaulting to uh, Dario's turn. Hey, 
Now that was interesting. He's at five stamina. Defend. Over six. Oh, now it's bound to be the standard. Five one nine and dead. Holy cow. <laughs> but what's nuts about that, to my understanding, or just my witnessing the fight, normally if you botch it up, it might be something to do with the, the pattern, because he did the gash and slash. I thought he did another element, but his script must be attacked three times afterwards. But to me, we normally, the only time we give Dario a chance to attack is at the beginning of the battle. We do, well, I got it right here. Riddell, one, defend. And then if Dario happens to roll a, a low stamina, um, he'll attack and you, you hope she lives. Lynx and Riddell will, sorry, Lynx and Marcy will think it just fine. So the basically, the way the fight goes, you, you defend, you build up Lynx to level six, uh, use two stamina, on two AP, put two stamina on Marcy, go off Riddell. And then from there, you're, you're just doing counters constantly. So Dario doesn't go act on his own. The only time is the, is the first turn in combat. Here, the first action happens just because it's a natural part of the fight. But then when it was down to Marcy and Lynx, there was nothing... There was nothing to say like... You're definitely gonna attack Lynx, like he could have killed off Marcy. Which may he had maybe in that scenario he uses revive. If Marcy That's 
That's the only thing I could think of. Uh, I could label it. I could have this better. Imagine he definitely had the, the revive, and the reason why he, it does so much damage is because he had he got burn burn status ailment on um, Dario, which lowers the magic defense by like two or three, as does weak minded. But it's, it stacks with weak minded. But he got guaranteed fire pillar first try, which. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. Let me explain the problem, the potential problem. Uh, oh, let's just go through the fight. Hell with it. Uh. Do I want? Ah, yeah. Turn white, turn red. Minded. What's something I could take off? Um, this turn white. Or fire pillar. goes hmm the strat would he would also have two different variations based on his starting stamina I won't question the other one Mr. Car still has him. That'd be a good time to take well.
Sorry, y'all. Might be able to buy some other elements if there's something else I want to try. Please. He had. That's I need to mimic it. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. You evil bastard. Blah, blah, blah. I guess when... It, I was curious if it was a little bit safer using this method. Not only because of the burn status ailment, but more for the stamina refresh. But it ends up. They're at a two stamina refresh. It's the same. Well, I think. Dorio. Let's do it the way we do it now. Wow. Bust this out. He, he, he rolled the 4 AP, so I know Riddell's gonna be good. Not that I would know that in the run. But we defend. And then you would spam a bunch of wands with things. He lives, you rejoice. We would build links up to. Magnify our cell one one. Weak mark. This is the most critical moment in the battle, debatably. Because if this one doesn't land, you're screwed. Because you need level 3 with uh, Lynx. Um, which is going to be used to cast a turn blue here. 
And the, the big thing to set up your your negative stamina. He needs to cast one spell. Sorry. One, two, three. And uh, the other AP is used uh, to uh, lower Marcy's stamina. You get the one element, burn red. Which Marcy's at a negative two there. That gets us our first blue on the field. Marcy does one one. Do do. Ah, crap! I took the turn blue off him. Win some, you lose some. What I get for not looking at this? Wait. Oh, add turn red, turn white, revive. This might turn blue. Oh, that was where turn white was. Turn white was there, and turn blue must have been there. Okay. Uh, I still want to keep that there. I don't need the ice blast. Actually, I can use the cure plus. Yeah. Actually, does Lynx use to turn blue anywhere else? Because putting on uh, the Cure Plus wouldn't do that much, but it could be used for healing. You could have to turn our Cure Plus there instead of the, the turn blue. Because we had that already from Glenn. So this is the bad scenario where he rolled a, a 2 AP. I shouldn't really say it's the bad scenario, because Riddell at least gets to defend. That's my silly notes. I guess this is also well, kind of risky in the sense that if Lynx happens to miss twice, um, be bad news bears. But that didn't happen. Um, 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 um. Oh. Yup, yup. Ash is good. I haven't had too many fights with the low AP roll. Alright, so this time we need to do five. Bravo! Just like last time, this is the most critical one because he needs to hit this. 
And you did. But she also needs to hit this one here. So the, here's where I always try to explain the AP. We're at 4 AP. And he's got 7 AP total. So by doing that one, in this frog prince, the way this is scripted, turn blue was 1 AP. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But he rolled a, a plus 2 AP. With 2 AP, the game's gonna kind of look at it. She's gonna have a one stamina. That's where this is. This is an ideal uh, scenario. The one two stamina. Because the stamina just. You wouldn't know that it rolled plus two, but she's gonna get a weak stamina refresh. If she was at. Normally you hope for a negative two stamina. Because if you're at negative two, negative one, or zero, the game basically says. You can't go yet. The enemy is gonna forward their AP to the next turn, and, and um, essentially you get like uh, nine stamina in that case. But in this case, bad AP roll, bad day. Um, you would defend with her and hope she lived, and she didn't. So let's play this out, Bonzi. I guess you can actually revive her. Because we got the Frog Prince off. But I just used two there. That was a goof on my part. because I only know the AP because I was looking here. Now I'm starting to remember why this is this is this is a losing situation too. Because again the stamina refresh. But she went just the negative four there. And it looks like I might make my way out of here. But here's what happens is Lynx only has one AP left. It's ten AP until his, his next turn. Which is actually kinda of fortunate. Will you burn? That's rare to get that full stamina refresh there. Normally, you just end up with another low one and it's G. And he doesn't have the, the burn effect. Anyway. If the fight would have went normal, after the frog pens and you had your full stamina refreshes, we kill off Lynx. And then again, Dario by default has 7 AP. He rolled a plus 1 here. So we always want to use up 6 AP. He's 2 AP away. Right, now he's 1 AP, but 1 AP would give us at 5 stamina, and the game just rolls over to the, the next turn. Then you're in the infinite loop. Like always, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And if you have a really bad magic stat, you can get to a point where your your the only spots you have left are the like the level threes or the fours. So if you said, "Well, I just want to use up, I just need to use a level four spell. I don't want to toggle through all my elements, so I'll just use four stamina." Well, now she's at a negative four, and again in this scenario, it'll, it'll actually work out to a full refresh. 
but you get the pity, Italy, refresh. All right, let's start from the top. Let's actually start. Oak. I want to show um, how, how our strat kind of works and show what a Zen app uh, did or try to replicate it. And I want to try to understand what's different. Here he's got his full AP 8. We want to use up 4 AP, 5 with that, 6, 7. That's where 4 comes in. Use Genius to up her magic. Again, even though I have 2 stamina, or sorry, three stamina, but two stamina as far as like if I miss. Because again, Lynx needs to do three hits here. I don't know his AP. I know the minimum. But if that missed, and he rolled a plus one there in this case, but if he had a zero, you're, you're sunk. Lynx, your battleship. And Marcy was at a negative two there. Let's do that. Here. Let's get the field all blue. And at this point, even if she misses, it's alright, but the goal here is to get the again 2-6 AP, knowing that this the minimum is seven. So he rolled up plus two here. And we're at negative two and negative two point nine. So Lynx will be at zero, and the game says, well, you can't take action, so get no fast forward AP or the stamina. And I got a 1700 hit there. A very tight window. Now, let's look at what Zen Epp is doing. And again, I'm going to poke his AP because I don't, I don't have the alternative strat or something to try to replicate it. He does a four. And actually, this doesn't mean he necessarily was aiming for the four, but he got the low five. He was actually aiming for level 6 with Link. Then Dario goes. Or Justin Fire Pillar. The 
fire pillars that uh, attempt to burn. And then Marcy does three. That's counter. So three AP, four, five, six, which would reset. So if Marcy missed here, would he do one more? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Probably not based on the fact that his first one landed because he got level 2 with Riddell. But he wants this stamina value. This is this is all plot in the larger scheme. So this resets the turn. But he does four ones. Where was it? How could be at four ones if? Oh, because he doesn't kiss, but he gets up to there. Okay. Well. Helmet. He needs to sell. That 4 AP, 5 AP. Six seven. Okay. So yeah. The four ones is four AP, five AP, six AP, seven AP. So that is what we're going for. Yes. Moment. Magnify. The links is at negative five. He's at negative one. He uses the turn red. Yeah, negative five, negative four. So the only thing left is the two blues. But Lynx is already at the, the two. element and this is this is actually key and I say key as in I'm wondering if this is safer and it, and it looks like it is because that's one EP that builds her up to level seven and I didn't take note of her current level yeah I thought she was at level five I know this is different, but um, she, I didn't miss any, and neither did he. But I had room to miss twice with her and still be good. So the four, go back, element. Your plus, get a blue field. And we're at negative two, negative two point nine, and one AP, which is the same risk factor that uh, our current traps are.
Here's where kind of blown away. I'm not kind of, but I am. Because we would just kill off Lynx and then go on. But I can see the advantage of going for the Ice Blast here. Because there's, well, there's two blues on the field, but one's canceled out from the red. Doing good, Mattoon. How are you doing? Um, um. Wait, did I do it right? Honor. Oh, wait. He defended. Because, oh, let me mimic this edit. Oh, oh. Um, Good. He died. I mean, you just do the one and then revive? Or does he know it's guaranteed a mercy or a link's flop? Because you do that, that's a one, two. Now I got four. Four AP. And we can see the, the difference with the burn damage. I mean, a difference of 200. Well, I don't know if our magics line up. I think this Marcy has a 21 magic. And I don't know why he had four magic items. I imagine I'm within... He's at least one higher than me. He might be two if he got like a sky ring. But yeah, 200 different damage. However, 
when we, so frog prince just happened in in for the english runners what we do is just a one two a three a one a two a three and kill off link doesn't mean we can't do this get the conduct rod and then conduct aha business as usual Question is, do I say time doing that? I end up casting one more spell with the fire pillar. And that's it. I think the stamina is safer. And for the chance to burn in a safer strat, it might be worth it. Um, you here. Evil Ash, I'm calling you out. What's your thoughts? If you have been actively listening, do you think there's something here? I will look into your soul while sipping on my tea. If you're not there, then I just look silly, but that's all right. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. I kind of like it. I think my AP usage is probably right on. Actually, a little sick. Even if you get that. So, it, it, I guess it is risky with Bridel. Demon Lurker, I know, I'm calling out the Lurker. I didn't know if you looked at the fight. Or this particular fight. Burns didn't do anything. I tried the burn strats in the past and I never got to freaking land. I guess it comes down to as far as getting the prince off. This seems a little bit safer, but it costs you the time of the fire pillar. But I like how um Okay. What? You're in the same mindset then you may enjoy your lurk hmm oh what do I think what what does he and you no I appreciate that I, I and I know you would tell me honestly Or I, I know you wouldn't be influenced by my words. You would give me your honest opinion. I'll take take three seconds off. Oh, wait. 
Oh, good, it's still going. At least 13 seconds, but there's the time to build up the element. I don't know. I'll just say 20 to... Twenty seconds at that. Plus, I guess equipment element. Maybe thirty seconds altogether. So you're thinking if good in, if good starting stamina, definitely stick to what we got. Is how I'm reading that. And you can recover it bad. I don't know. <laughs> the, the bad starting stamina seems bad for a few reasons. But you've done a lot more runs and practice than I have. Thirty seconds. How much safer is this? Oh, you mean bad with uh, if things go wrong with um, good starting AP? I was taking bad as risky, but yeah, I haven't with good starting stamina. I have not had to go wrong, except for if I get the miss with links. That one is critical, and for anyone who's watching this or. I'm probably going to highlight this for the Chrono Cross Runners, um, just as a learning tutorial, even though I, I really haven't explained much. Um, no, I don't want to exit. Let me do it. Yeah, let me do it. Let me do it the old-fashioned way. One defend. here so again we're set up for this being our six AP and this being our seventh AP in reality we rolled a plus one but we don't know that so if I missed which I didn't There we go. So if I missed, and that shows you from, by the way, Ash, why I got you here, here, and I talked to you, has there been any studies? I don't know if they'll look at the camera or not. Um, for, um, I don't know if it's, if this game has 30 or 60 frames, but I'm wondering, because it, sometimes it feels like when I'm in the rhythm, like I missed a 99, like I'll just see like a miss, miss. And I was wondering if there was like any um, testing or studies done uh, to like the frames. Like if the game runs at 60 frames and you're at 99%, so like two frames are, are miss if the game's like that. Maybe we don't know the game's that uh, level, but it was a thought I had.
aren't apparent. I wonder if there's something we can do to kind of train ourselves to get the the timing. I I've actually tried to like pause a little bit, like when your character runs up. You know, you can be sitting there like, and I'm not kind of speaking to everyone here because astronauts is as well. I I I could be sitting there mashing it, but there's also I walk up or run up, and then wait up. Not that long, but just a little bit. And if there was some kind of muscle memory we could develop to kind of... And this is mostly for the 99% hits. Because you, you can get quite a few, but it seems like when I try to like mix it up, it costs me more issues. But uh, I'm getting off topic, but that was something I was curious about. So we got the miss. Again, I don't know about the AP. You're better off doing the turn red now. Because if you roll the 7 AP and you go for the 1. Actually, let's do that. Hope. One. So Dario rolled his normal um, AP 7. You do the 1. Oops. Like, <laughs> the character's dead. And then there's no way you can do like a frog and summon. So in this scenario, you're you're better off, um, what I call going for it, turning them red for here. I don't think it would matter. You might be right, because if yeah, if the frames are going constantly, there might. It's not like you start a battle and then. I think I get it. I think I can drop the topic now. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it's not like, uh, as soon as you hit attack, sorry, I'm getting off topic once again, that all of a sudden the frames are rolling. It, it's constantly rolling, so yeah, there'd be no way to know what pattern you're on. I get what you're saying. Anyway, we did the turn red. At this point, for this phase, you hope Link's set too. Oh, what a horrible tutorial this would be. And I don't have the turn blue, but these two here plus will uh, act as uh, my two blues. One blue. Two. Well, I guess you do have to go for the one. I have to take one away from Marcy. Well, there's two things you could do. You could go for the 1-1. One, one, or you could do the 1 and then the Frog Prince. The 1 and the Frog Prince would be the 7 AP. In reality, I rolled a 2 AP. But doing the 1 and the Frog Prince, you at least do the damage and I should save state here. Uh, six. At least did the damage. In that case I got the full. Well let's say I wanted to match what the notes say with the 1-1. One, one. Oh. Um. Well. I had... Oh, no, 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 no. Hulk. I had to go with... You, you done messed up. So that's where you, you have to assume that the lowest AP is always rolled. Dario has to roll an AP max on this one. Can't remember what he initially did. Ah. Element. 
from red. Yeah, he rolled the eight AP. But she missed. That's good. I yeah, I think I seen a ten. He he can roll. This rolls a seven. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so he rolled the 8 AP here. And actually by... Um, I could do the 1-1. One, one. I could follow this strat and add a 1 and, and it works out fine. But we have to assume that... Uh, oh, he always had the worst case scenario. The low roll. So if you, if you attack... Um, yeah, he would attack. But get the frog prints off. <laughs> That's what my lengthy explanation is about. <laughs> oh. Yup, I get what you're saying. I screwed up. What Evil Ash is saying, I screwed up. Four. Oh. I used the one. Oh, let's just go back. All right. Um, Evil Ash is the master. He he should be teaching the class. Yeah, the four would have worked, but then I was like, oh, I'll just back up. But actually, the high AP, yeah, burns you in this scenario. So the rewind the clock, because I'm going over the place. We have the four starting stamina. That's not my freaking call. No. Uh, that was a link's turn. Up to this point, cast this. Now we're at this phase. Burn blue links. Or, oh, I got cure, but blue. One one. And let's say we got unlucky before. Oh, but we get really unlucky. Uh. At this point, you're just scrambling to cast the freaking thing. And... That would really put a damper on things. Oh, I want to cast it. So yeah, since I had to do more actions. She's gonna end up with two stamina. Different stuff kept happening when I was trying to go for a certain result. But that was with a high AP roll, which was 10. And that's unlikely. Um, to happen. Normally you're gonna roll the lowers. The bottom line is if you miss here and you don't get your level three or the turn red, the turn blue, the cure, take the risk, take links into phase three 
at level one and hope you you get a, a good roll because the fight's over if you if you screw up here because you won't be able to summon the frog prince uh, I'll leave it at that hopefully that proves to be useful uh, everything up to here wasn't really my goal to make a tutorial but uh, Oh, the fire pillar. I get what you're saying with the... Yeah, I guess it's a debate. 30 seconds for safety. Like, I came up... Because cause Dario will always counter with a, a different element. So I came up with this method where the first turn you just automatically give him the counter. And turn green, or green elements were the fastest spell that he'll counter with a, ye a yellow. But this adds a minute and a half. And just by route, routing this out, uh, I learned to fight and it was easy to understand from here. But with this strat, this is kind of like a 20, 30 second detour for a safer element level, which is why I went on that tangent and, and tried to make a, a little bit of a learning lesson for anyone who might uh, down the road try to learn this game. Because this fight is the worst. If, if you can learn how the stamina and all that works from this, uh, you're gonna do just fine with the, the run. But it can be confusing and rough. But Evil Ash is the one that urged me to uh, learn the RAM, the RAM watch, and, and the big thing was the AP. So, with the Biz Hawk notes, um, you just go the RAM watch. The RAM watch files open, and then there'll be the Chrono Cross main. Like I said, it, it's included in there, and the HP values is great. So this is the enemy. You'll see the different APs, and then it's self-explanatory. But I know some people in the Discord have mentioned that they didn't know how to use this. The domain call. Ah. No. Alright, I realize you're targeting... Oh. Hmm. The menu... La -da -da. Columns? Look at this. Look at this guy. Ah! Look at this guy. Teaching. Always teaching. Um, I'll have to post this for everyone. I, I, I it might be slightly different, but I think this is pretty much it. Because this opening act, he attacks. He just gets up to level six. So with a different stamina, I just go for level six and then. As soon as you get the action, and start triggering the counters. Um, and without... Yeah! Do you think that's a manip? I'm glad you brought that up. That tea is cold. And he's open. Mm. Yeah, because I don't know if he would revive. That's where uh, I would need to see multiple runs. But the revive kind of just opens up for a disaster.
And it looks like, and you mentioned you, you didn't have the burn. Is there anywhere where we can get poison for free? Because I was also looking into using revenge. Um, and having like links, like poison or, or burn. I forgot what the poison does per tick. Would it even be worth it? Revenge strats was what I thought I had. Yeah, without a video, I wouldn't know what his safe method would be. Actually, it'd probably be probably similar to what you got here. I'm not gonna bother trying to figure out sure. I guess. Ash, I know you told me that you used to do the green dragon strats, and I copied down the the route, the route. Which this document was nice because it lines up with what you were telling me before. With Marie said the earth dragon and the yeah the earth dragon and the green dragon got swamped, and I can. Because of this document, I can tell you that Earth Dragon gives us a mini star there. It uh, for Zam, Zenamps run, but we also get the the Earth Dragon um, mini star where he does not. Or does the old record? Well, he had, I think, 37 strength going into the Green Dragon Island. Where would you equip? Oh, I would have to wait to Havana. I could see just because he has a higher strength that this island is not as bad. Like we hope to be at 37 strength for this. The seal for the other dragons. That that was my thought. The extra fights, and since we're at a lower strength, so yeah, the, look. Looking at this route with the 37 strength, I, I knew it wasn't apples to apples, and for anyone else that's watching, not as familiar with the game, normally at this point, uh, we're at like, I don't know, 29 to 32 strength. Maybe 33, 34 if you're lucky. Yeah, he has 36, and then he gets a plus. Which, for our good notes, World record I exactly. That'd be easier to see in the word. So if we're at thirty six strength for this island we can do a slightly better strat on the random encounters. However, that's a, a hard value to hit. So you're better off being stronger um, when reaching this island. 35 after man or two. Yeah, I, I'm jumping for joy if I'm at 33. Yeah, I couldn't... I couldn't see the benefit of the Green Dragon Island other than the fact 
that he had 37 strength for some unknown reason. But his splits are set up. It wasn't like, well, I have this strength, I'm going to go to this island. Oh, I get what you're saying. This, the power seal. Hmm. How long did you do the run? I should be just talking to Discord, but I won't do that. How long was the run ran the old way with the old route? Like, was the green dragon method used for a while? I guess and this, is, this is probably where you went with the thoughts was that the seal, the power seal, five attack, doesn't add enough because there's not that many random encounters. You actually need, you would want the seal for the green dragon island because you have all the extra fights, but ironically, after you're done with the islands, when you get the seal. So, okay, so it wasn't tested that much. However, I see the logic with. Who cares? Like, the power seal would be great, but what? For the Earth Dragon Island and the one Blue Dragon? Maybe if some strats are um, incorporated to speed up the fights? Otherwise? But the Water Dragon already has low HP. The Earth Dragon already has low HP. Like, I don't. Made the random counters for the Earth Dragon Island, but. They're not that long. Yeah, the green... Yeah. Yeah, which happens on this island too, with the bad AP. You're unfortunate. Now it's caught my eye from this run. I... Yeah, it was like a week or two ago I, I finally started taking a look and I, I started at the Dario. That caught my eyes. I was like, oh, that's cool. I knew about the burden effect from you. And I, I've already done testing and I couldn't replicate it. And hearing you say that, that you didn't even see a difference. Um, we just had to <laughs> kiss that dream goodbye. But the, the safer strat is kind of tempting. I wouldn't mind trying to test to see if I uh, kind of get a idea for how much time is saved there. Never thing. Do you, do you think it's a, a thing in the Japanese version? Just not the English? If we saw the high roll, so I'm assuming... That, well, it's just like, um, lower defense. It doesn't actually lower the defense. At least in English, because I tested that. Oh, then, really? Huh. Then I would question why wouldn't you just do Because Dario is going to counter no matter what so instead of doing a fire pillar you could do like a I don't know turn green Where element Because that's the opening move A bit of damage yeah True. The surge have an arrow blaster plus one. Is that what was here? I think it was. Yeah, because I found, because I did test the red, green, blue, and yellow, and I found that the, the a yellow cast was the fastest counter. You could do a, a arrow blast. And that counter is yellow. Which lowers your defense. But I guess for his strat, with the attacking, he wouldn't want that. It doesn't matter. So yeah, I watched the Dario. 
And the dragon thing caught my eye. Wait. What, what do we get here? I don't think this was any different. Actually, he went for a level 4 with Fargo. Which I thought about doing just so the level 1's already there. I guess the risk you run with the level 4 is uh, there's a higher chance you'll attack and you'll lose your, your hit rate. Got quite a bit of bad luck on this book. Got the frog gun. Oh, I know. There was something here that interested me that I thought was quite brilliant. Instead of using a Pansia, a level 4 element, he uses a turn black, which would be easy to uh, equip on Marcy. And the case in point was made because uh, uh, Lynx was inflicted with uh, a dark element. Is that the only element that can affect Lynx in a negative way? The uh, a black and eight? Like, he can't get fatigued or nothing like that. I wish I knew. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let me clip it. Let me clip so I can pause. It's brain too. So... Ne what does spring do in battle? Oh, he does do eagle. I don't know why I thought. Oh. Yeah, eagle and then two two. I take it. Never mind. Let's learn. But yeah, carnivore, strengthen. Burn yellow. Yeah, he gets the bad breath, and then, like I said, instead of using a pansia, uses. One one. Oh. Four stamina up. Defends. Goes with the black up. Oh, I guess he, he does have the spring cure there. I didn't notice that before, but now that you mention it. But he had both on standby. And that's nice because the green dragon is so fast that if you miss, you can still cure it regardless, which is getting two hits off. But he went one one. Had his levels and then used the two to be faster. I actually really like that. Oh, let me pause this. A 38 strength. I think. Well, please. The one turn yellow links. 3 3. Text. Three, three. One. I was thinking, no matter what, use up the four, but the dragon has to go regardless. 
Oh yeah, I, I was thinking if yeah, you hit one one and then you get level two. So, yeah, that's one one one. Level two. Cast spring or uh, I forget what the thing. Is called. I know the ones black out. But that if you miss, just go for a one one. Another turn. Yeah, I guess with our laggy menus, it wouldn't be worth trying to equip. And it's nice to have her um, in the position to. Uh, yeah, skip over that level two to avoid slower minis. But I did think it was interesting with the. That thought there. Booga booga. That's it, I see. Yeah, it's kind of. Anything. Uh, it's a little bit tough because he has the, the higher strength to kind of learn anything else. And that's such a long walk where. Yeah. I agree. Go go for the uh, extra mini star. Trade off the game. That's why Breath Fire. Uh, I'll tell you the parallels between this and Breath Fire Two, as far as the timings go and the the mini trade offs, where it's like, oh, it's like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, but you know RNG and mitigation. It's there's no right answer. Well, in the in this case, I I definitely like the. I like coming here first. I imagine we're gonna see with that stupid strength. I was gonna look to see if he got like Starkey in any different order or anything like that. Water dragon. Excuse me. For the extra setup. Is that what you're thinking? At one point, I was curious if coming here with, before the Master Moon, coming here with Karsh, and tr and I know Karsh is slow. But seeing how good his level our level five tech was, I was curious if he could handle these uh, random counters to get an extra magic stat on Marcy, because it would still work out. Yeah, you would still get the the mini star if you came here before Dario and using Karsh. But that was also before I, I knew that mini stats would only affect the active party. So you would have to have Marcy in the party. It would have to be Karsh, Marcy, and Surge. And you would be missing the Dreamer Scar from Dario. And that's right. It made sense to just accept Marcy for the magic she has. Even slow down there. You line standard. Yeah, 38 strength. I 
doubt I'm going to see anything special from this. Seven fifty, seven fifty. So fourteen hundred. Yeah. Links three three. Probably put that in there by mistake. It saves you like one turn, and that's with really good strength. And I know it's possible to get that with our so it's doing nothing here. I know you know this. I have wondered though, if you're on track with the, well, if you have a low str strength, I guess you're going to use a, a turn or a strength in, in this fight. But I was wondering what adding an extra green would do, like an arrow blaster, get the field. But ends up being faster just bouncing the Everything that I've tried over time, your wording has seemed to be true. Like, go for well, you didn't necessarily say go for no reset runs, but I know you you believe strongly in doing no reset runs and and less YOLO strats. I know that was one of the philosophies you told me, and I could and I can see it with gr even if you grind good strength for the beginning game. It doesn't guarantee it later on, and so why grind it if it doesn't guarantee it later on? And then, and then I've had the low strength at the beginning game, and ended up better than a high strength because of good AP rolls. So RNG affects more than just stats. Like we we both had the love and strength surge at the end of. Uh, Viper Manor at a 58. But of course, it affects later on. For that scenario, yeah, I do think a Glen route would be needed. But you grab Starkey there. Nice shooting. The E goes on to do Fire Dragon, Sky Dragon, I imagine. I, I can see it, especially doing the no reset runs. Like I had the, I had the really low strength surges, and I got a seven ten, a seven ten, and and those were D rust, and then the next one was a seven oh nine with a really high surge or strength surge. I had some bad RNG, messed up. So yeah, he goes for a dragon. Bum, bum, bum. It's more about. I don't think the route's any different. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I like to see the port. I reset it a few too many times at the port. That's typically what I go with. And even if the port's going bad, I, I tend to go through it just for the practice. Actually, after the god off and the ghost ship, I, I really enjoy the battles. It, it's funny, like, the battles are frustrating, but at the same time, it's only from a speed running standpoint, but really, they're, they're a lot of fun. It's just when you look up after feeling like you had a good fight and then seeing minus two, like, what? How did that happen? I think he made stone vests for everyone. I remember seeing that before. Or seeing that he equipped three different breastplates on his characters. But I've been skipping the stone vest. I skipped the stone vest and the stone sword. I will make the stone sword after the, the dragon emblem. Or when you get the dragon tier. If Surge is low on strength, just to help out uh, who's trays or whoever the heck and then I just grab a mithril breastplate off someone else or if I end up making the stone sword I'll make the stone vest then but it's only like a 30 second save I guess that's a, another thing with this route you get a little bit more denerite to make the extra vest I'm assuming it was stone, but I really don't know. I've been, I, I've done it at least on my last five runs, but it is minor. And then, like I said, if you end up have to make the sword later on, then it's you're really not saving that much. But it's a little bit quicker because you're already there. Let's see. Let's see. I imagine the people have faith. I do want to watch the early game at some point. I won't do it here on stream. Of any run or, or this run. This? Okay, I'll check it out. I am curious though for Viper Man or like killing the guards if, if there's a magic. Like if, but Surge has Mama, Salt and Pepper, Harsh, Bum Pepper, Five. If Surge is at 14 strength, can he do the guards like quicker? But, and grinding that RNG for, yeah, I can't justify it. Oh, magnify. Oh, you go for magnify with Fargo. That's interesting. I gotta use the restroom, but...
Oh, so I turned the mic on. Get the bait. So normally one one mag, but yeah. A one one with Fargo instead. He had a minus two blue on far. Oh, that's Vigor. Ah, oh, that's where I freaking hate. That's where we're gonna. We gotta use clip strategies here. Higher hit. Yeah. Goes with three wands. Ingenious. You have two, three, two. AP. That's four AP. Wait, he's not summoning up. He's not setting up a summon here. Two, then damage. Oh, but yeah, you have the the two dark elements on the field. What was it before? Yep, I see. Yeah, so doing the normal 2-3-2, two, two, you have plus one white, but he's losing some damage here. Because he went for that um, genius. When Surge does his, at the 2-3-2. Two, two. Actually, you're in a negative state. One, two, three. Does a white plate make you take more damage to dark elements? My my search took like seven hundred damage to heat ray. I normally somehow get a god roll and get like 26 magic surge and things is ridiculous. I did have a thought with this though. But he did a 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 AP up to here. 1, 1. That takes you to 8 AP. So you're guaranteed to have the 2-3. I guess what is nice is it sets up the level 2's here. And assuming you get them, getting the 1-1 one, one gives you a higher hit percent with the 2-3. The because missing the 2-3-2 two, two can hurt, but... He's got to hide. I still think it's better to do it early like here. Me at the worst to revive at then. 
Oh, and that strengthens. Well, that was grav gravity, so that wouldn't kill. Imbecile? Oh, Graviton can kill. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you're setting yourself up with um, having the extra the dark element. But then I'm assuming that's Imbecile. Alright, he did a weak man. Yeah, without knowing exactly what armor, I just seen them equip and everyone. The imbecile is interesting. I don't know advantage other than making this fight a little bit safer later on. That seems like just a waste of casting. Oh, too far. Give it to me. Yeah, uh, where was that? I had to Bro, I'm all confused. Yeah, so the yeah, the one, one, two, three. Genius is already on the field. Oh yeah, diminish and genius. And then uh, now I'm mocking you. Yeah, diminish. All right, I was right. Diminish. One, one, or three ones. Genius. They get three. Maybe it's not a genius. Maybe it's something else. Because it's, it's not a negative three. That was genius, but what's this? From black. He's already a dark and eight. Find this painted. That's it. Maybe we can buy without pause buffers. Maybe it does it to get in the, the negative stamina for a stamina refresh, but it doesn't already happen. Let's we'll see. What do we get? We'll have to note his his um magic after the battle. Drop mm -hmm. a line. I w I was about to say, or at some point I was gonna say I don't even know. I don't even know if it's worth it because yeah, the casting time. I mean, worst comes to worst. You hit for 3,300 and yeah, I agree with you.
However, if, if we see a stupid low magic like 20, we, we know it was worth it. I hope he has low magic. But then I would have to question his accessories, but I doubt they equipped like a magic seal. He had 23 magic. Oh, but to turn black, I can I can manipulate to turn black. But the imbecile, I can't. To run away from this fight. Oh, actually, one of the kids are playing already had. Oh well. I'm actually using your, uh, Your save routes. The other day I was using my own and I had everything wrong. Alright, I'll just manipulate the AP to get the results I want. I should have noted Surge's magic. My bad. Let me know what is. I could have saved in the battle. Can you do it? Well, let's make it 23 then. Oh, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. I had it right there. That would have been rip. Instead, you rolled a ten. Yeah, <laughs> boy, oh boy. Um. You rolled a high AP now that I think about it. And that's another thing, it's, well, I'm sure it would have went the same pattern. I was just going to manipulate the AP. That would be more, more smart. I rolled high. Oh, genius. Oh, 
right. Then. Oh wait, she's got it. Freaking A. This will happen one way or another. Uh, what do we want? Um, let's just see what the the not so non turn black here. I know that was supposed to be him. Should have saved it so I could do a few different roles. Oh well. Three, three, five, five. Do that one more time and see what role we get. Do you remember that what the results were? We have the results. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Those are taken. So what would I have to? What would I have to do to shake up the RNG then? This be a much larger number. Make sure turn black still on. It is. I 
I guess I can save the game here then. Six hundred damage. All of a sudden, it becomes interesting, huh? With the, I mean, as you point out at the beginning of the fight with that AP roll. I mean, that was a really high AP roll. To get the genius in first, if it would be possible to keep it the kind of the method we got. If not, it would have to be kind of rerouted the way he had it. Let's go ahead. And Back, Jacob RNG. I guess both get it done, eh? But if you had a low strength surge, 3987. 3987. They need to do basically 1300 damage other than that. But we got. We got a 42 strength surge here. Make him 38. He doesn't get off here, eh? Two seven six, and then what was that? Well, I was trying to just see what that chip damage would be. That's 700. So there's your 1k almost. But I guess the... Oh, we're gonna have a... Wow. Let's not leave it to handy math. Play it out as you uh, wait. Did I? Okay, I do have it. Um, where do we want to go with this? I guess I would say the plus the 3600 so you got 4600 and that's even before doing the 2-2 which get the elements of the field would be slightly different oh that's another thing you got the magnify off no Make sure they're just doing up today. Now, no. oak. Um, 
the having two white elements on the field. Be really unfortunate to get that. Two four nine. Two fifty and four hundred. No Saints paint? No thanks. I I wiped in enough casually to this guy. and 320 I guess this this is probably what somewhere in my mind I was trying to think of the difference between our chip damage we got 720 there So you lose out on a hundred or two hundred damage. So that one hundred to two hundred damage versus uh, five hundred to six hundred uh, saints. But as you said, I mean thirty-eight. Actually, no, that was with the forty-two. I didn't poke him. It, it goes back to the options, right? Uh, yeah, you could do it this way, but... Uh... It would just have to be consistently routed out for the genius. Like you said, the heat, right? I can see it makes I think I get the picture better with doing it the other way which was Master, how's she going? Fargo did the 1-1 one, one. magnify. RC did.
guess just went back to Fargo. Yes, this was opening act. Just write this out. So he gets magnify off it. Okay, this is good. I like this. He got a low AP roll. See you have a video of some <laughs> Yes. I I felt bad because I didn't uh, face cam on my four hundred follower special. Genius. Yep, okay. Set the date. That's a number. Try it again. to do all these. This is I again. Uh, this I tried to do. I wanted to do notes in uh, Excel so I could do formulas, and I see why it doesn't work out. I digress. All right, so they're both at level two. Surge. This is one one. Uh, two, three. Ready. Level seven.
You did 200, 300. A little gap in there. For anyone just joining, uh, which doesn't like it when you pause it a bunch and it rebuffers, so I have to put a put it into a clip. Probably turn white. Yep. Got one, two. Uses diminish, but gravitone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, if you want to, he could use uh, three ones there to uh, build up surge for saints. Which which legion? Thank you, because <laughs> I've been. It's been annoying me trying to. Uh, struggling. I struggle every day.
play, damn you. Obey my command. Not like that. Alright, I'm sorry. Be friends. And? We'll get there one way or another. I just want to know his... Alright, 80. I'm I'm just as their even their outro menus are so quick. Which actually the field was all all white at that point. So I definitely did more than that. I'm not gonna go back. Well, I guess I will. Plus whatever chip damage it is. But his his attack it actually barely killed it, it looks like. Combine these and then the 4k hit. Where did I write that? Oh, I just wrote 4k. Yeah, so given his strength, I guess I could have done the strat the way he did it. Why not? I'll, we'll finish up with that, I guess. But it looks like with the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to have... That's term black. Oh, Marcy's just taking the place of Fargo. That should be fine. Yeah. 
Let's see here. Five, five. Shift that too. Bang. Oh, I had to check out the Viper thing though. This has been fun. Uh, that was you. That's that. Oh shoot, but you don't have a... Actually, if you miss one of these, I have a One, one. You want to do one? Ooh. Ooh. This goes to show. RNG can be a bitch. One, one, two, three. See you turn black. Actually, I wanted Fargo to, to the turn black. This is not even gonna work out for me because I don't have the right. kind of do, but got derailed. I'm gonna say where's 8 HP, but must be 400 left. Oh, no one slow down. That's what I was going for, but like, in that situation, well, I didn't have the proper elements. But the fight can mess up just as much as it can the other way. Because I missed a, a 1 and a 3. That's what I was trying to prove. I can mess with that more, but... That was actually the ideal scenario. I like that he had diminished, like fate went as quick as possible, but it made the rest tougher. But we got the ideal rest of the fight, the worst case scenario, if you will. And then I missed, which is also the worst case scenario, and it shows that you can mess up. But I think hitting the one, one, two, three is likely less likely to miss than the two, three, two, but. That damage I was also trying to figure out. There's pros and cons each. Alright. Watch the Lynx fight and then Oh, yeah. yeah. 
or Viper, sorry. Flash, flash. I appreciate you uh, um, channeling me, Flash. And everyone else that's came along watching. Hopefully it wasn't too boring, but uh, yeah, it was really good to get your inputs like immediately. Ah. I, I'm this way. I don't like to be influenced by other people. Yeah, exactly. Great minds. But yeah. Uh, and specifically with that. Yeah, the same result. And, and it even goes to the whole timing thing I was saying earlier where I'm not even so sure what the hit rate which has been in question the entire time of Chrono Cross speedrunning. Oh, I'm just watching. I was gonna pull up, uh, that's it. I wish I had this all memorized. So Glenn is the major, kind of narrate. Glenn is the, the main major damage dealer. So n normally we strengthen Glenn, eagle eye him. But with the eagle eye, you're at 99%. And then Lena adds a, a green to the field to help boost up Glenn. This fight is normally real simple. Unless you have a real pity, pitiful Glenn, there's no way this can really botch up on you. So I'm interested here. Instead of Surge using the strength. Okay. Eagle Eye, 99% hit. What? 68 and then crit. Well, maybe that's normal. It always feels like it should be more. Oh! 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 Oh boy! I was gonna say, I think it's Polly. I always think, cause I see those numbers on Polly, and I was like, oh, maybe I'm just, I was at, I was just playing the end game, so maybe I'm thinking of the high end of damage. But I was, yeah. Oh, I already missed it. Yeah, so instead of... I didn't think much of it because uh, Surge did have the eagle eye. Yeah, so he had the negative three there, which is to turn red. So his... This wouldn't happen. This wouldn't be as likely for us to happen. And us, I just. Well, because he's using a different camera view. And for those who don't know, right now I'm on dynamic view. So if I wanted to buff someone, you know, hit a one. And our default, it's set up. So the default buff is either strengthen or eagle eye based on the character. So I know going to surge I would hit you know one element X X it, it just defaults to surge because of dynamic deal however 
if you're on the overall view, you don't have consistent menus. So, said strength, I guess it still defaults them. But, okay. Yeah, so he had to go down and then strengthen. Trying to think. I guess for me, I would have done the hit and I would have turned the enemy red because I would just XX out of confidence. Yeah. Well, I, I'm trying to think of, like you said, like you had to hit down and it goes to muscle memory where, yeah, I, I would hit XX to the strength and, or I would turn myself red. Well, in the, in the case of a turn element, it would turn the other enemy. Hey, maybe that was the intent. Maybe, maybe you're missing it. Maybe his strat was actually to use Lena and use magic. And he meant to turn Viper red. That's it. That's gotta be it. Not really. Because he does go for the eagle eye. And he doesn't have any strength in spells. <laughs> Poor dude. World record run. And that's one of those things that just lingers in the back of my. <laughs> he even hesitates, like. Kind of like what I did, like, my first reaction was like, what? <laughs> like, he has that mo How long does the fight go on? Yeah, Bush. He noticed it. So you probably would have been better off using the strength. Yeah. At that point, you're just rushing for whatever. You don't really have time to think. Oh, there we go. We're off. Oh. Oh, and I could see I can see where he uses the turn red because of um, on the first slot for not bunny up Forsoid and and Gloop Augustus Gloop. But now you got me thinking, what else do we benefit from turning element? Bunyip. I hate bun. We could squeeze in a turn white. We have a turn white at Bunyip, don't we? Prince one ah darn because you need the field to be blue and then by by the time that's up Glenn would have to have the turn white and you would have to have a certain AP roll to even get that in
genius. Did he have to sell pants he has to, to make, uh, get some money? So I remember looking at, uh, because I asked a genius question. And it, it, if you had to choose between weak mind and genius, you get a little bit more out of, uh, the genius. But that's just comparing the two, but the value of adding a white to the field is better. So you did sell the pants so you had to make the money. That, that was in there. But... I, get me cute. I did want to watch the port at some point. He's not going to know the girl's magic unless he gets into a fight. Always one more. That's a tough pattern. Oh! Yeah, you had me curious now. That is a tough pattern. In that scenario, because I've tried that before and it doesn't work out for me. You know, oh, he paused it. Didn't notice that. Oh, pause, but oh, because yeah, I tried normally going down. Pause buffering. ADHD's hitting up high limit. Yo, Omi Flare, what's going on? because yeah, pause would come up on the screen. Yeah. Let's because yeah, I would think the thing would chase you. Maybe, maybe when you're on that pattern, it sits or something. Or maybe he's made something with the collision against the wall. Maybe the, the dragoons hidden the box. Yeah, it, it almost looks like the Dragoon hits a wall, the hit detection. That's interesting though. That is definitely the worst pattern. There was another thing with movement he did. It was on the Green Dragon Island. Oh, oh I mentioned it. I might as well go to it. 153.20. I know where it was on the green dragon. Right? This might be something you're already doing. Let's footage go. 
Oh. Oh. May it may it's after this. Yeah, in fact it is after this. He uses select to switch his character to get down a little bit quicker. Come on. Yeah, that's a little too much. Oh no. It was before all that wait for that. Alright, back to normal. We'll get there. Get Marcel's in lead. the point two five was a little much. Dudes. It didn't look impressive there. Why was it impressive? There there really nothing going on with that? Was I impressed for no reason? I'll watch it at normal speed. It seemed like a minor time save. Why would you switch to Marcy? I get switching back to Link. Oh, was there a save then? Oh, just for that? Watching in slow motion, it was definitely obvious that, like it, there wasn't really much going on there. But at the normal speed, it it looked impressive. But the last, let me pull up the strat. Uh, I'm already at strat. So you go with surge first. This a one, a genius. I tell you, low AP on Bunny if I just and, oh. He got low AP. Good. I, this is worst case scenario. I like this. Four with her. Four magnify. Then the ice blast, right? Saved one frame of text. break that down. They did one with Surge and then Genius. Then he went and basically built up his elements to four and four. Got the Magnify off. With the Ice Blast. He got lucky. I mean he could have plus the AP roll but worst case scenario. But it, it helps the cause as far as yeah, if he got a higher AP and he would have built up his elements more, it would have left some question. But in this case, it's like the bare minimum. So, go on. Intrigued. Oh! Wow, I have never seen a zero AP roll on that. I didn't even know that could happen. Oh my gosh. What do you... Oh. Wow. Damn. Beam. That's interesting.
love it. V85. I know you. I know we're doing around 600, I believe. 600 to 660. And then he goes big for because of the low AP roll. I was thinking, used to. Oh, why would we turn white? Dumb. But he used. He had 16 magic. Oh, then whatever accessories. Which it would have been at least the bare minimum of one. One. Magic Green, Dragoon's Honor, then one to two more, unless he got a Magic Green from Fire Dragon or the Gate. So actually just, he could have had one to three more. Uh, I digress. Yeah, that was like, really good amount of damage. Hmm. I wonder what would a turn red do? Man, I, I wish I could clip all this crap because it, it's so good. And I say crap, but. Curious to try that in different. Yeah, because we don't have a turn black. Oh, I can download the video. Excellent. Yeah, we, we definitely don't have a, a turn. A turn white. I would have done the exact opposite of what I need. Oh, we do. Oh, sorry. Two whites, one black. I. Yeah, because the Frog Prince has more. higher spell power, so it makes sense to beat that up. Over. I, I need to watch that just for his AP movement, because I've, I've butchered that up before. And use this aqua beam. Guess it's a fast time with a little bit of chip damage. Black. Turn red. Would you be the one to do it? Interesting, he opens up a surge. You did one. Oh, the turn red, which she has. <laughs> Chocobo theme? Yeah.
Uh, I, I tried to troll you with the video. Yeah, screw trying to dodge the bolts. Do I want to try? Turn red. How would I fit in a turn red? Oh, I would have to do it early. No, because when he changes his innate color, that's where the turn element doesn't come in. Because when he, yeah, changes elements, it's bad news bears. It still wouldn't work out. And I guess where I was going with the, the luminaire with turn black and then hit with the luminaire. Do more damage. I'll just play out the way I wanted to do. Or out what I was thinking. But Glenn would need the turn. I was more fixated on his, his HP. It was locked in at 30k. Unless it does something weird here. Oh, there it says 420. But then it goes up to 3 so Made something. I, I hate going for this 2-3 with Glenn for the reason we just saw. Oh, does it? Okay, I see it's staying down now for the 30k. Dynamic. I thought there was stats down my arm. Um, yes. Actually. Actually, no. Actually, no. triggered something in my, my mind, but I can't think of it.
Yeah, and then, oh, I can see it. Yeah, it's tough with the stamina. He would, ha I would have had to defend there. Extra black element out of you. Freaking Andy. <laughs> Didn't have my. All this just to see how much. Uh, Turn black will make his. I'm for sure calling it. My mind's going down the drain. I guess, in, yeah, in that case, I could. Well, no, again, I couldn't. I want to get Glenn stamina. I want to help him. Yeah, I couldn't think with the spell power. Yeah, I, I can't make heads or tails of that one either. I didn't see if he had like a it's a money thing. I don't, I don't know. Let's see here, uh, F one. That's interesting, because... Yo, Angelo. How you doing? Zerma, are you saying, Ash, that... The, the hits can miss? And, uh... And I was landing on, like, Gravi Gravitor. And then here, it actually misses. He must negate the black, so I guess. 
It doesn't work. And you couldn't fit in the turn red. Okay, yeah, genius. The genius trip. Yeah, it's really helpful in this game with the AP. Especially when I want to manipulate the results. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Like that. Links. I don't see where where it would help that. And yeah, magic not really done anywhere else. Well, hold on. Aerobic. Then you're adding a, a negative color to the field. And Harley's meteorites, Harley, a spell worth it. Even for Hell's Cook. enough magic being done or a spell with enough power to make a difference. It just shocked me because the... it shocked me. I would think these dudes would be immune. Any game with uh, the earth, the birds. But this is hitting the guy with the opposite. Although, that character with the same. Yeah. I, I can see how. I don't know. Stuff. I know turn white lands. For the zero turn, I do strength from white. One, two. Oh, that two would have hit. At 44 strength, this will work. But then you have my big if and. Yeah, it took me a while there to learn that the, the magic doesn't turn a character or an enemy a different color only affects magic. But I get what you're saying too. Because when I was first learning the run, I didn't learn that for a while there that, uh, yeah, turn an enemy the opposite color. Grobic. Well, oh, actually, Grobic, you're the opposite example. I'm only doing this deep extent. <laughs> Get passionate. Excited. Yeah. Come on. 
Yeah, like a fight like this, where the enemy is the opposite element, a white innate. Actually, Grobic was the example I wanted. Sorry. Grobic, a black innate. If you turn him white, and at that point we have the white knight, Lynx, and Harley, who are black innate, you would think I only have to cast one spell and then all three of my characters can do more damage, but that's not the case. It doesn't affect physical. Anyway, I'm done, really. Uh, Evil Ash, thank you so much. Uh, Omi Flare, Angela, thanks for hanging out. Everyone else, really appreciate it. A lot of fun.